I just want to show you how to get to a conference in Schoology and how to participate in one. So if you go to whatever your course is, this one happens to be AP Chemistry because that's where I set one up, and on the side you will see conferences and that's what you want to click on. Uh, you want to make sure that you're working in Google Chrome because that will give you the best Schoology experience. And then you'll see whatever conference that your teacher created. I created one that just has today's date on it. Um, and you'll notice that you can click on that and that's how you're going to enter the conference. And it will open up a new tab when you do this. It might take a moment to load. And it's going to prompt you on how you want to join. So often teachers might want you to join just listening, but I think it's helpful to join with a microphone first and then you can mute yourself and then you can always unmute yourself if it's needed in the, um, in the conference. Um, so joining with a microphone, and it says you can always join using, using your phone if you're having trouble with this as well, but a computer should work fine too. A microphone, and it's connecting to do an echo test. Echo test, echo test, echo test. Echo test. I, click, I click yes because I do. Now, now, you are now muted. You can mute yourself by pressing this here. I believe you can also mute yourself. This one it tells me this one's me um, by unmuting myself over, or muting and unmuting myself by clicking on my own status. Um, but you should be able to see that here. Um, so typically, when you join a conference, you should mute yourself unless told otherwise by your teacher. You'll notice that I could leave audio at any time as well. Um, and, and join back in. If I'm having trouble with my microphone, I could leave and redo that echo test by clicking there. Um, you'll notice that I can share a webcam, um, which I can't really do right now that I'm recording this, um, but I can share a webcam and then you'll pop up over here. Uh, and I can make this full screen. I can make it not. You'll notice that there's this public chat over here, which I can open and close. And I can type messages. Okay, hi, hi. Um, and uh, everyone in the conference will see those messages. If my teacher has turned on whiteboard, and I have here, um, you'll notice that there's these tabs on the side, and you can draw, you can color. If you happen to have a computer that has a, um, a stylus, you can open, make it into tablet mode and, and do this maybe even better. Uh, and you can change the color, you can change the um, thickness, you can type, uh, I would just drag to create a text box, hi, and you can press this to undo it, okay. Um, so there's a lot of different features here. There's a multi-user whiteboard, or if you don't see this, your teacher might have just turned on the whiteboard for themselves to use. Uh, so that depends on what's using for the conference. So again, if you notice, if you click on yourself too, you can set your status. So I could say I'm away, I could raise my hand if the teacher says raise your hand if you have a question, say I do that, and you'll notice that my icon changes uh, to the hand raise. I could clear my status at any time as well, you can reset it, if they say hey do you get it, do you not get it, you can make a thumbs up, thumbs down, and again you'll notice that my uh, particular status changes. Um, and the, there's shared notes here, which um, Let's see if it loads. Not really, I haven't used that yet. Oh, and then you can create notes here to share with each other um, or the class as needed as well. Okay, um, so there's a lot of different options and more as we're finding them out, but this is kind of what I've seen so far with um, conferences. So now you know a little bit about it. If you're having any trouble, um, there is some troubleshooting that you can do. Um, and I will be sending out a list of how to troubleshoot if you can't get into the conference.